vehicle that can be used on the road and as an aircraft is known as a flying automobile or a rotable aeroplane. This includes automobiles that operate on public routes in the same manner as motorcycles. Hover cars and VTOL personal aircraft vehicles are also called flying cars in this context. From the start of the 20th century, many prototypes have been constructed employing various flight technologies. Most have been built to use a runway for conventional takeoff and landing. So, welcome back to EV World. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it before we start. To get alerts about new videos, enable the bell icon. We are now presenting to you the most impressive electric flying vehicles. 1. Aeromobile Prototype In October 2014, the Aeromobile 3.0 flying car prototype made its debut at the Pioneers event in Vienna, Austria. The car, created and produced by Slovakia's Aeromobile, can be driven on land and in the air, taking off and landing on any paved or grassy area. Aeromobile plans to gain European certifications for a small series category M1 automobile and light sport aircraft by the current auto and aviation regulatory criteria, having begun a flight testing program in actual flight conditions in October 2014. Klein and Jaraj Vakulik collaborated on the design of the advanced 3.0 prototype, built 10 months after the 2013 release of the 2.5 version. 2. Uber VTOL Taxis A secretive, well-funded startup has recently supported Uber's ambitious intentions to introduce an urban air taxi service. The ride-hailing startup announced a partnership with Joby Aviation, a California-based aerospace firm developing electric aviation technology for more than 10 years. The first business to agree to Uber's aggressive schedule for launching its flying taxi service by 2023 is Joby. Joe Ben Bevert, an inventor, founded the business called Joby in 2009. Until 2018, when Joby revealed it had raised a startling $100 million from a range of investors, including the venture capital arms of Intel, Toyota, and JetBlue, the business functioned relatively unnoticeably. The funds assisted in funding the company's air taxi prototype development, which has been performing test flights at Joby's private airstrip in Northern California. 3. Hybrid Flying Cars the Chennai-based company Venata Aeromobility is creating Asia's first hybrid flying car, which is anticipated to be a reality by 2023. To make flying vehicles more environmentally friendly, the business debuted the flying automobile prototype at Excel, London's largest Helitech Expo. Last month, the company gave Jyotira Ditya Sindhya, India's Minister of Civil Aviation, a prototype of its flying car. Sindhya praised the team's efforts. The hybrid flying automobile has a maximum speed of 120 miles per hour and can fly for up to 60 minutes. It is capable of flying at a maximum altitude of 3,000 feet. The two-seater flying automobile has a maximum takeoff weight capacity of 1,300 kilograms and weighs 1,100 kilograms. Its entire service ceiling is 3,000 feet and it is said to have a range of 100 kilometers. 4. The Airbus Vahana Vahana completed its test flight in November 2019 at the Pendleton UAS range in Oregon, USA, bringing a conclusion to the flagship program. Throughout the project, the team worked to accomplish its three key goals. The project team designed a tilt-wing aircraft configuration with an all-electric power system. A total of over 500 nautical miles and more than 13 hours of flight time were completed during the flight testing program. The project team de-risked the essential components of autonomy, such as real-time detect and avoid capabilities for both aerial and ground-based dangers. Vahana provided extensive knowledge of the operating costs and certification criteria for EVTOLs, both of which are essential for building a solid business case. We're delighted that you're still intrigued by the video. Stay until the end to discover more of such excellent flying vehicles. If you're an admirer of such content, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell button and the like button. Let's go on with the video. 5. Kitty Hawk's Flying Prototype Kitty Hawk Corporation was established in 2010 with funding provided by Larry Page, a Google co-founder, Cameron Robertson and Todd Reichard, who worked on the Aero Velo Atlas team which won the AHS International Igor 1 Sikorsky Human-Powered Helicopter Competition in June 2013, are the primary engineers on the Kitty Hawk Flyer. 
On April 24, 2017, Kitty Hawk released a video on YouTube introducing the prototype of their electric vertical takeoff and landing, or EVTOL flyer for leisure flying. And as of November 2020, the video has over 3.1 million views. Originally from their website, a brand new all-electric aircraft is called the Kitty Hawk Flyer. Our initial iteration was created primarily to fly over water. You can quickly learn to fly it without a pilot's license. In April 2017, we made the operation prototype public. By year's end, the official flyer will be made available. The actual release of the production flyer occurred in May 2018. The engineers had to design the aircraft within the Federal Aviation Administration's ultra-light category, only being used for sports and recreation, and weighing 253 pounds, or 114 kilograms or less. 6. Workhouse Surefly Ever wish to hop in your helicopter and soar over the air to meet your friends for a quick cup of coffee? The Surefly personal helicopter costs about $200,000, significantly less than a standard Whirlybird. According to Surefly manufacturer Workhorse, the eight propellers spaced across its four arms provide significantly greater stability in the air than a typical single-rotor helicopter. The four-rotor DJI Phantom drones use a similar technique, but you'll be inside the Surefly while hurtling into the air. Also, the controls are pretty basic, just a few buttons and a joystick. You can set a route into the touchscreen display, and the Surefly will travel independently. With a range of 70 miles and a backup battery that adds five more minutes of flight time, you can return to ground safely. It was produced by Workhouse, which recently collaborated with UPS to test an autonomous delivery drone launched from the rear of a UPS truck. 7. Opener Black Fly A flying vehicle that can transport people efficiently has always been the stuff of futurist dreams. With the help of the Black Fly, an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL vehicle, Opener is making his this ambition a reality. Black Fly by Opener marks the beginning of a new era in aviation. There will be less time and money spent on travel and infrastructure upkeep. People will venture into areas they had never imagined. The aeroplane has an all-electric battery, powered propulsion system composed of carbon fiber reinforced epoxy. It has a small fuse lodge and two tandem wings that are 13.6 feet or 4.15 meters long and cantilevered outward. A single seat cockpit with a bubble canopy is located in the fuse lodge. The cockpit has an excellent forward view due to the low forward wing and high rear wing. Each branch has four electric motor driven propellers with a tractor design that counter rotates. The thing is that flexible propellers cannot touch the aircraft because of the tractor arrangement. Winglets are added to each wingtip to increase lateral stability and lessen vortex drag. A pilot and 250 pounds or 113 kilograms of luggage can be transported in the aircraft's 313 pound or 142 kilogram empty weight. It can fit a pilot who's up to 6.5 feet or 1.98 meters tall. Number eight, Cartivator Skydrive. It's a subscale electric vehicle prototype that can take off vertically and land. Four vertical launches surround the aircraft's cockpit and landing VTOL propellers are mounted to the body's exterior. At the height of 50 meters, even though it can reach a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, its typical travel speed is just 60 kilometers per hour. The maximum load that can be supported is 400 kilograms with room for two individuals. It can hover like a drone and quickly transport passengers along a crowded skyline because of its unique design. Subscale electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL technology is implemented in the Cartivator SkyDrive prototype. In flight, the full-scale production measures 36 meters long by 1.1 meters high by 3.1 meters wide, which translates to 11.8 feet long by 3.6 feet tall by 10.17 feet wide. 9. Zhang 180-4 The first electric-powered autonomous aerial vehicle has been devised and manufactured by Chinese drone manufacturer Yi Hang. The Yi Hang 184 AAV is a low-altitude drone that can fly at sea level for 23 minutes with just one passenger aboard. It debuted in January 2016 at the Consumer Electronics Show CES. The drone was created utilizing brand new technology and is intended for everyday use. 
to make the 1E Hang 84 AAV and develop rules for the future of transportation. E Hang intends to collaborate closely with the governmental organizations all across the world. The carbon fiber and epoxy composite material used in the construction of the E Hang 184 is combined with aerial aluminum alloy. It flies in an inverted U shape based on height and the latitude of the origin and termination sites. The current EV World episode is coming to an end now. We hope you liked our content and learned a lot about those super electric vehicles. Each time we submit a video, you'll receive a customized notification by touching the bell button. So, remember to like and share this movie. Additionally, keep an eye out for other videos from our playlist with similar topics.